G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious statistic slash algebra question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. When 15 is appended to a list of integers, the mean is increased by 2. When 1 is appended to the enlarged list, the mean is enlarged, uh, the mean of the enlarged list is de decreased by 1. How many integers were in the original list? Okay, that was a lot to take in. Okay, I didn't even read it well, so I've got to really take this in. What, what did I just say? We've got a list of integers. When 15 is appended to the list of integers, the mean is increased by 2. So let's be very slow. We've got some integers. They're not telling us how many there are. So there's some integers a1, a2, I don't know, up to ak or something. Um, when I put 15 on the list, the mean goes up by 2. All right, all right, take this slowly, take this slowly. The mean, what does mean mean? What's the average? So if I add up these numbers, up to k, da da da, and divide by how many there are, so there's k of them, I will get some average. I'll call it m for mean. And the question says in the first sentence, if I add 15 to the list, or put 15 to the list, we get one more integer, the mean goes up by 2. So that says a1 plus a2 up to ak plus the number 15, divided by now k plus 1 integers, is the mean I had before up by 2. All right? So I've made this a very algebra statement now. That's the first sentence. Second sentence, when 1 is appended to the enlarged larged list, so there's my enlarged list, up to 15, and I put a 1 on this as well. Okay, I can do this, plus the 15 plus the 1. I've now got k plus 2 integers. The mean is decreased by 1. The mean of the enlarged list is decreased by 1. There's the mean of the enlarged list. This goes down by 1. It's now m plus 1. All right, so I've just translated the question into math speak. Here we've got three great big scary looking algebra type equations. And the question was, how many integers were in the original list? I guess I called that k. The question is, what's k? Oh, okay, all right, so we've got to look at this thing with basically no numbers in it whatsoever. Well, I've got 15s and 1s and 2s and stuff, but really no numbers, and work out what k actually is. Well, I feel I can do something. Okay, strategy number one, engage in successful flailing. Just do what feels right, and hopefully it all falls into place. I mean, I've got all these fractions. I can see this sum divided by k is m. That tells me if I multiply through by k, the sum is mk. If I do the same thing here, multiply by k plus 1, this tells me that the sum plus 15, the sum plus 15 is oh, uh, k plus 1 times m plus 2. I'm being a bit sloppy, but m plus one, 2 times k plus 1, yep. And this one, multiply through by k plus 2, I've got the sum I had before, plus 15 plus 1, plus 16, is uh, k plus 2 times m plus 1. Okay, okay, actually that doesn't look too bad. There are three equations right there in basically three unknowns. One unknown is the sum itself, one is m, as one is k. So maybe I could actually work out what each of those values are. In fact, for this question, I only want to know the value k. Oh, actually, I can make this look much better. This is feeling good. I like this. The sum is mk. So the second equation really says mk plus 15 is k plus 1 times m plus 2. And this equation says mk plus 16 equals k plus 2 times m plus 1. That looks even friendlier. Okay, okay, I feel like there's hope. I feel like if I stare at these equations, mess around them a little bit, maybe I can actually get an answer for what k actually is. So that could be wishful thinking, but I, I'm feeling good. So I'm going to invite you, try it as well. Play these equations, see if you can actually get what k is from it. And when you get an answer, hopefully it does, then you can compare the answer I get in the essay that goes with this video. We'll compare results and see how we went. If this turns out not to be a good approach then, I'm not sure what to say other than just uh, keep mulling. There's got to be a way to get to from these equations. Ah, have fun. This is a good question. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.